This Queensland District Court case revolved around a sailing vessel named Warlock, anchored by her owner, Goodhue, on the Gold Coast, and left for several weeks while he went to New Zealand. Goodhue made arrangements for friends to look after the vessel, and he left her anchored using what was called a heavy Danforth anchor, which would sink into the mud at the bottom and hold very securely. Nobody knows quite what happened next. Either Goodhue was mistaken about using the Danforth anchor, or one of his mates used the yacht and then re-anchored her using a lighter, admiralty-type anchor. Either way, there was an urgent call to volunteer marine rescue. Warlock was adrift and heading straight towards another yacht. Volunteer marine rescue scrambled. They got police permission to board Warlock and take her under tow, away from the other vessel. They re-anchored her. A few days on, she came adrift again, and this time was driven ashore and damaged. Goodhue flew back from New Zealand to sort it out. He sued Volunteer Marine Rescue for negligence, for failing to properly anchor the vessel after towing her. Section 39 of the Civil Liability Act in Queensland protects volunteers who are acting in good faith when doing community work organised by a community organisation. This provision was included after the insurance crisis of the early 2000s, when many community organisations looked like folding because of massive insurance costs. Mr Goodhue argued that this provision only protected the individual and that the organisation itself could still be liable through what's called vicarious liability. Vicarious liability is when an employer or organisation is responsible for things done by the employee or the member. Judge McGuinness supported the defence submission that immunity must extend to those organisations for which volunteers are protected to undertake such work. This makes sense. If there's no individual liability for certain conduct, then it's hard to see how the organisation could be responsible for that individual's liability. The difficulty is that this decision was obit dictum, so it was not required in order to resolve the case. The court found that there was no negligence anyway, so the court didn't have to make a decision about vicarious liability. So we're still waiting for a definitive decision. Until then, it seems that community organisations are not vicariously liable for their volunteers. Thank mm-hmm. you.